my sting! Hello and welcome, I am Scorpion Kills and this is War Tales. So our first point of, point of interest in the game, after the fight of course, is, is some kind of stable. Let's see, maybe Henry will find some, some drinking buddies, yeah there are some. Of course none of them is like Henry. So here in this game it, it's quite cool, there are hidden objects, I managed to find some. And also you can hire players, uh, not players, I'm sorry NPCs. Yo, chill bro. <laughs> Why are you screaming at me? Oh my god. So this guy is a leader. <laughs> Um, of course, he's not our leader. And it's quite cool because you can interact with more stuff. So if you find something hidden, you get it as a bonus. Uh, I'm pretty sure there isn't anything here. Oh, there is. There is weed, but it's stealing. So if you try to steal something, one of your guys must become a thief and I didn't find any benefit in this profession but I did it uh, I don't know I did it like twice or three times and I had to pay the police otherwise they were yo I need to leave this place when I think of how many people don't shoot their ponies it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have left. So this... Sure, let's buy one to see what it does. We need to learn the game anyway. So uh, if it's a flat upgrade for the whole party, it's kind of good. And also, maybe we, we don't sell to this guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure you need to camp to be able to actually keep your guys so do we have a we don't have a rogue oh maybe we need to hire one then because we have we have a dagger which is a poison dagger but it is what it is and for henry we have a, an item that he can't use equip or you can have only one of both maybe i can min max this it has only one weight if i need weight i can swap it to take an item and for now i can keep the horseshoe as it uh, as it will benefit us the most so there are some resources around the world and for the map it's quite big not sure if that's the whole map maybe there is more you travel slowly if you're not on the on the road and your visibility is as you can see is lower so you can ambush stuff if you see them of course and they can do the same to you if they see you as animals I think have better perception in woods than, than humans, maybe some classes are better. I haven't explored so much. And this is the first town that I stumbled when I was trying out the game. So here we have a blacksmith and I wanna, I wanna make one of my characters a blacksmith. Phantom will be our blacksmith for now as i think it fit his utility role so he will provide the other characters with armor and weapons and he will tank and buff us and such so if we go to the market there are some of course people that you can interact with 
not sure if there is anything else so this that this guy last time that i tried him he robbed me for a few crowns i can polish your armor please I, i'm so hungry so i want to see if this will happen again i will pay 10 gold and last time he took the gold and ran away here we go <laughs> a little spit and polish here and there <laughs> done so shiny i could go blind just looking at it <laughs> thank you for all the money it will be well spent yeah he stole 20 gold from us disappointed with that those refugees i understand there's a war in edoran but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves oh so there are refugees i haven't listened to this guy last time so it's actually good to interact with the with the surrounding NPCs to know what's going on inside the town. So he's a refugee, so pre he's pretty much pretty much homeless. So it's not a loss, as we can make more money money easily, and he can use it as he's homeless. Please, can you spare some food? Yeah, sure. Here you can give bread. And for a reward, you will gain prestige, influence, and sorry. So it's used for companions and certain actions. It's a resource. Let's see what happens. This actually, so we are prepared for the game when sh when shit happens. So current happiness is kind of neutral. Companions we want to live here if they are unhappy. If we reach 7 happiness, we get 1 power point. If we reach 15, experience in combat increase by 15%. Any above 15 grant you 5 um, influence? Sure. Thank you so much. I'll make that I will trade. Pay for you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. So we need to go to the inn and buy alcohol for Henry. And when you see someone with purple like this or green, someone that's highlighted, they mean they want to talk with you. But uh, let's first hey, try the It's not often you see new faces around here. Well, apart from the Edoranian war refugees, that is. Feel free to come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. Okay, so they are having trouble with the borders. So we take some brandy. And maybe sell the dagger as we have no use for it. The back, the saddle is quite expensive. It's our most valuable item at the moment. And the next one is medicine. So I'm not sure how to make money in this game except from doing quests. Maybe there are some strats you, you. can tell me. Yeah, you. You looking for work? I can give you tips and point you toward the best missions. The kind that pays much better than the measly rewards the mercenary guild has to offer. Oh, so this guy gives her gives her a rare missions. Of course. You'll then have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? Sorry bro, can't help you now. And there are characters, you can inspect them. And you can take them if you want. But uh, you need to pay wages, you need to feed them. And... We kind of have just started, so it's it will be kind of bad to have a lot of characters. Maybe for now, chew a bit. Let's take some quests. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. So... I will take all the offers for now as I want to experience the game, so I guess I can't take 
you must complete active contacts. I guess there is some limit. Oh, yeah, three out of three. There is a clinic. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. So this is quite important because vials are, I guess, temporary prices reduced. Oh, they were quite expensive, but now they are cheap. So I will take some. I will buy all. Yeah, yeah let's buy all. What's the worst that can happen? So one of those guys need to become an alchemist. Well, Johnny, I think Carol is a good candidate for that. She could be our alchemist and create medicine as it's expensive. So we need a bunch of flowers and a vial to create medicine. We can see our active missions at the moment. This easy, average and easy. As there are two over here, I will follow the road towards them. I still haven't uh, reached the point, but I wanna show you how to camp. So we pretty much the campfire can fit four players, uh, four characters, and we have the workshop, but we are good on raw materials at the moment. And Henry actually can join them. I tried, but he can be close to the fire. You just use the campfire and we need one alcohol for Henry and every food has its own value. So the bread has four and those two have two. We need to, f to fill everything up. So this is good and we just rest. And this is the our fatigue bar. And some hours pass and we get a report on what happened. So I'm walking near the woods towards my destination and I see some... I guess those are some refugees. Or... No, those are some poachers. I guess it's pretty much the same. Oh, this is our quest actually. So we need to deal with some poachers. So I got my party ready and this is their leader, their leader, Elena the Green. So it's kinda bad. She is the strongest of them all and also she give, gives them leader aggression, a lot of crit and she deals bonus damage to poison targets and her auto attacks poisons and it's also an AOE around her so she does a wire wind spinning move so I want you to pin the archer so didn't you have an ability oh yeah you have more damage if so he dealt 6 damage now I think I'm gonna focus on her Hopefully I don't trigger the trap. You will be taking some damage here. It's, it is what it is. So he, Carol has the last turn of our party and their archer is next. But he's pinned in combat so we should be fine there. I think I will just backstab her. Oh, she turned. Maybe I should have attacked him. So as you, as you can see, the game is quite challenging. Challenging at the start, I guess. It may become easier later. I don't know if it's worth. If I kill her, he will attack me. I'm not sure 
Uh, let's see. The worst that will happen is uh, that machine will die. Oh, we got a damage buff and I still have movement. Oh, it's still my turn. Finish him off. Nice. So here, as you see, they are, this guy is trying to flee. Yeah, let them leave. Oops. Oh, yeah. So we got ring leaders coif, uh, ring leaders coif. One of a character leveled up, and one is e injured, and now we need to heal him, and we need to repair everyone. So we need to go and get the bounty. As you can see, it automatically shows how much gold you receive. But let's see what uh, happened with our archer. So for sure she need more movement. I like mobile range characters. Because it's quite strong to be mobile and range. You can do so much more than just sitting on one spot and doing a lot of damage. Because if they close up with you it's kinda bad. So she can become a valorous, valor, valorous support every time these units ends their turn next to an, uh, to an ally and is not engaged in combat you gain one valor point this is just best for her because she's an archer they don't do as much damage to Q this is more of a rogue maybe no the, uh, the audacity I think is more of a rogue and this is for a, for two handers because they do a lot of damage. So here's our next objective. We ambush those guys. So the fight pre is pretty much over. And the cool thing is you get the stuff that the characters actually used in this point we got a helmet which is a two star level one helmet that gives a lot of stats but it's heavy helmet i think we need to be level three to be using that so pretty much perfect role for him he needs more strength and as we establish he can use Valera's victory to get us more points so we are back here so let's take our money go to the inn back to our quest giver might she be looking for work our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled we regularly update our job offers so she regularly, she's saying that regularly we can have new missions and we can collect both Here is your reward. And we got a bunch of money that is pretty much more than we had. It's like very good to do missions. I'm not sure if any profession can make good gold, but uh, mission seems to pay enough for you to play the game with with a bigger party this was scorpion chaos thank you very much for watching and see you next time